be a few different southern Indian percussion instruments. Let me play uh, the ganjira, which is a frame drum from Linwit. It's an instrument that's been used in Indian classical music in, in southern India for maybe about uh, 150 years at this point. It's a very basic drum that you know, has just one head, tail of the hat, and uh, essentially has two sounds, has a closed you know, sound and an open sound. Those are the two sounds that can make. It's a very, very you know, rudimentary instrument. It's used, this kind of instrument is available in many parts of the world, like the Middle East has many frame drums. Uh, it's a very easy instrument to get started with, but it's incredibly hard to be an expert at it because the instrument only has two sounds. And so your technique has to be extremely good for you to do any sort of skill. There are some, some amazing players who, who just play this instrument. And for a period of time in Indian classical music, this was the main percussion instrument uh, for when it first sort of, you know, became used in the Karnataka scene. Uh, right here, I have the gala, which is a pot drum, and in many parts of the world, these kinds of pots are used to carry things like rice and water and all that. And it's an adaptation of that uh, that you know, has more metal infused relative to a standard you know, pot, and uh, it has a pretty metallic tone to it. This again, uh, I think this is a pretty ancient instrument and is believed to have been used for, for thousands of years, at least as far back as you know there's written documentation that's been used. And then what I have in front of me is the Brumanga, and uh, I think there was, a, there was a presentation earlier as well of the Brumanga and one more later. And uh, this is a two-sided drum. This is, this is probably the drum that's used most commonly in, in Indian classical music concerts these days. And it has a much richer set of tones. So, so it's an instrument that you know, has low tones, high tones, bass, all the way through the higher frequencies. And uh, it's, it's a pretty versatile instrument. One way to think of it is it's like a very specific configuration of a drum set that has you know, a set of tones that you can use. So I'll be going you know, uh, through these instruments in a, in a short solo today and uh, I'll also do some vocal percussion which is uh, called Konako, which you know, is typically sort of uh, used as a way to learn rhythmic patterns, but it has also been performed in the past in concerts where there would just be a person uh, in an ensemble whose job it was to just recite rhythmic syllables as part of the concert. Cool, so with that, I will get started. And uh, thank you. I also, uh, I have a Put tab green with me, which I'm going to use to keep time because some of these patterns can get a little uh, complex and maybe hard to follow on some of the things